Today's lecture is on biliary structures and how we get bile into our intestinal system. Now bile, we know, is a part of our intestinal system that helps to emulsify fats. So how do we get bile into our system? We can see here we have our gallbladder, which houses and stores the bile from the liver, and it has a duct here called the cystic duct which traverses all the way into the common bile duct and meets up with the right and left hepatic ducts, again, to form the common bile duct, which comes down all the way into the pancreas, where it meets up with the main pancreatic duct, which goes all the way in the duration of the tail of the pancreas. Together, they join at the sphincter of Odi and the ampulla of Vader, which dumps out into the second portion of the duodenum, where it secretes its bile. Now, this bile then enters the duodenum and helps to emulsify fat throughout the duration of the intestines. Now, an interesting feature of the duodenum, if you look at these two diagrams down below, here, in an embryological structure, we have the ventral bud, which typically goes and makes a 180 degree turn around the duodenum to form the head and uncinate process of the pancreas. However, in an embryological malformation, the ventral bud will not make this turn and instead will wrap around the duodenum, causing a structural fistula. And this is called the annular pancreas. Now this could lead to polyhydramnios, low birth weight, and a feeding intolerance in children. And these are the basics of the biliary structures